What's poppin' YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. If you are a returning subscriber, what's up? You already know what to do. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed to this channel. And I want everybody to spam the comments with big, big congratulations because guess what? Guess what? By the time you're seeing this, I have either walked the stage or I am preparing to walk the stage. But this is a farewell CAU video. To make this video kind of short, sweet, and simple to the point. It came back from my graduation shoot, so that's why I'm all looking done up. Whew, time has flown, you guys. It feel like it was just yesterday that I received my red folder um, saying that I was accepting it to Clark Atlanta University. Let's roll the clip, let's roll the clip, shall we? But the last like official time that you seen me, I visited my dream school, which is Clark Atlanta University. And guess what y'all? Your girl got a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember posting that and I remember people um, DMing me and commenting and say, saying, cause you know, I told my story on how I even got sent me to Clark. Um, I had low ACT scores. Um, I took the ACT five times, made the same score five freaking times. GPA saved me into getting into Clark. Um, I stayed in the video. I will link that video down below. So if you want to go watch it, you can watch it. But, um, oh my gosh, I read folder. And you know, I was uh, telling people, and people were DMing. I was, you know, telling my story, and people were DMing me. It was like, you inspired me to apply to Clark. You inspired me to go to Clark. They were discouraged about their ACT scores as well, but you know, I encouraged them to apply. And I'm just like, <laughs> that's what it's all about. I literally can remember just my first day moving onto campus as a freshman. Um, I remember going to the event. I remember my dorm hall and like, you know, my moving process in general. Insert some clips here as well. And just a quick little disclaimer, I will be inserting like a lot of clips from um, my older vlogs because I did vlog a lot of freshman year and a little bit of sophomore year. So I'm glad I got that to look back on. But yes, roll the clip. My vlogging, this day has literally been hectic and they did not see me moving. They was going to be crazy. But it is clean supplies right here. You have all like bad stuff. And yes, I have a lot. So I will never run out. Y'all my clothes right here. And then at the bottom you have shoes. And my favorite area is my bedding. So this is how it looks. So yeah, I have a backdrop right there and then. Get angry social, y'all. What up, dog? is basically just me telling basically my own personal experience in college at Clark um, what I went through going through going to school during the pandemic because that was a lot but we'll get into that all the way up from freshman year up to now um, it's April 2022 I literally graduate in one month and um, it's just crazy how time flies by so fast and I feel like you know with COVID happening like that didn't make it any better so let's take a trip down memory lane, shall we? Just because I really want to be authentic and I really want to be real with you guys about my real experience because I did experience a lot within these last four years and really within the last two years, um, you know, with the whole um, pandemic thing and everything. My freshman year, um, freshman year was so fun. Um, I had a ball, I had a blast. Um, met so many people, um, seen so many people, experienced so many new things. You know, I was just living it up freshman year. It was just my time to really experience that first year of being out on my own and that first year of just really being in Atlanta, being in a new state, in a new city by myself where I knew nobody. And I had to figure it out. I had to come here. I came here when I was 18, a teenager, and now I'm a grown woman. <laughs> And it's just, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's crazy how just time just flies by so fast. So shout out to you if you were um, any of my friends during freshman year. Or I don't, what show was that? It was a show and it was like, 
uh, when I was in college, I think this was All American Homecoming. It was like, look to your left, look to your right. The people that you're sitting next to aren't gonna be um, there during graduation. And that is so true. Um, I don't even know too many people graduating with me next month. That's the crazy part. I know some people that are graduating in like December and I know some people that are graduating like next year to years off or whatever the case is. Um, and it was a lot. Like I told everybody like, you know, college is not a race. Go at your own pace, and that's just true. I lived it up. I was on campus. I was going to parties. I was um, freshman year, and I wrote a couple clips so you guys can see. And um, I will try to link mostly all of my college vlogs in the description box below. So if you are viewing this and you're considering going to Clark, and you know you want to see how it was, you know, pre-COVID thing, the videos will be down in the description box below. Let's, let's just go ahead and go to sophomore year where things started to get a little a little rocky i was dealing with some personal things um let me just be honest with y'all like i said this is a real authentic video the guy who i was talking to or call myself dating at the time in high school he actually followed me he actually followed me to college and um he became a freshman when i was a, a sophomore we had our differences and stuff, and I feel like that was just toxic, and we was going through a lot. So, um, the beginning of the sophomore year was just crazy. Like, sophomore year was crazy, you know. I was just getting into stuff I had no business getting into, and I'm just like, hold on, girl. You came out here to move and start your new life. Like, what are you doing? Like, what, like, what are you doing? And you know, I had to I had to snap out of that real quick. I remember getting into a really, really huge fight with my um best friend slash roommate at the time. Um it was I don't, I don't really want to go too much in detail about that. Um, but it was something that you know had her keep up with me because I'm just ranting, I'm just venting, I just turned the camera on, I just had a urge to just do this video because I feel like we don't talk about how hard it is to really keep pressing when you're actually going through things. And I wanna bring more of that onto this channel. I want to be more authentic with you guys. I understand that I go through things and when I go through things, I shut down. It's like, I forget about my YouTube channel. I forget about the people that are supporting me. Shout out to people that have always supported me since day one, since I started doing vlogs. I, that doesn't go unnoticed. Like I will never forget. I remember having um, a friend, his name was DeAndre. And I remember being a freshman in, in college and he was like, and I was walking on the promenade, he was like, where the vlogs at? Like, why aren't you recording? Like, get on it. So shout out to you. Like, even today when I was on campus shooting my graduation um, video and my um, picture, someone looked at me and she was like, you look familiar. And the first thing I go to is, do you watch YouTube? Or you probably seen me on YouTube because now it's not 13, you probably seen me on YouTube. She's like, yes. And it's just, it's just crazy how that my my work even though that, that i've been through a lot and that i shut down a lot it's just amazing that my hard work doesn't go unnoticed that you guys see my passion you guys have stuck with me throughout this journey um i read the comments i even find myself going back just seeing the whole oh my god going back and just watching reading the comments and just seeing you guys send me encouraging words and it's like i love that i love when i get to read that and get to see that and it's coming from complete strangers because half of the people that see me those positive words don't even really personally know me in real life and that's just always just good so you guys have definitely helped me through this journey so if you are a supporter you've been a supporter since day one thank you <laughs> um anyways back to the story so back to sophomore year you had happened um, that situation had happened next thing you know covid happened and I know I don't know about y'all, but like when COVID had first happened, like it was just scary as fuck to everybody. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is happening. I don't, I'm not talking to my best friend. I don't know where she is, because you know, like I said, we had to move back home. We had to evacuate campus. So she had moved. I didn't hear from her, and so I went home. And going home, going back to my hometown as a sophomore in college was depressing. I'm not gonna lie, it was depressing. Um, for those who, who don't know, I am from Memphis, Tennessee, and that's a city that it's not much to do there. You kind of got to make your fun. You kind of got to get in where you fit in. And I felt that for a year and a half, you know, I came to Atlanta and I started this new life. So when I had to go back home, that really like crushed me. I felt like I lost everything in a sense because I was building my connections. I was I came out here to Atlanta to further my education and to get in the door with acting in the entertainment industry and having to move back home like that. 
it was devastating and then I couldn't get a job at first. I had money saved up from a job that I was working at. And let's back it up a little bit. When I, sophomore year before COVID, um, I was working at this restaurant with my friends. And I remember my best friend at the time, she used to drive us back and forth to work. She had stopped working there. And I was still working there, so I had to catch Ubers and Lyfts back and forth to work. So I'm spending like money, like, on Ubers and Lyfts back and forth to make sure I keep money in my pockets. Cause my job, I went to Clark. I came to Clark with no money. Like I didn't have the funds. And let's back it up one more time. The summer of 2019, so after my freshman year, going into my sophomore year, that was a period of time where it was, I'm trying to not get too emotional because I don't want to miss on my makeup and I, I don't want to be too emotional, but um, I remember that summer, my brother is in the Air Force and at the time he was graduating from basic training. We went to San Antonio, Texas to see him graduate from basic training. This ha happened to be the same weekend that my tuition had to be paid. So um, as a freshman, you know, get a loan or whatever, um, however it was, but when I became a sophomore, my mom and my dad were not able to sign loans. I had nobody in my family who had good enough credit to sign a loan. Um, nobody um, was able to give me the money. Nobody was able to um, give me the money. Nobody was able to sign off a loan in my family. And this particular weekend where you know, I had to go to San Antonio to celebrate my brother graduating. Um, his basic training for the Air Force. It was the same weekend my tuition had to be paid. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah, um, sorry, y'all. So this particular um, weekend, like I said, it was his basic. I had my tuition had to be paid the same weekend we went to visit him for the graduation um, of his basic training. And my mom, she was kind of like, you know, I don't know what you're gonna do because. I don't got the money, I can't sign for a loan. Your dad doesn't have the money, he can't sign for a loan. You know, nobody has the money for you to go and nobody can sign a loan. The day it had to be paid was the actual day of my brother's basic training graduation. And you know, I was trying to keep a straight face. I was trying to not to be supportive for him because I didn't want it to come off as, you know, I didn't care about him, you know, graduation. And that was a huge accomplishment for him. You know, at the time, my grandmother, was there she was there as well um she was kind of just focusing on her son graduating from basic training for the air force and not understand that but then it was like dang so when we leave here what am i gonna do because that was the last day that was the dead line like if i didn't like enroll and pay what i was supposed to pay that day it was it because that was actually past the deadline and this is just me being honest to y'all long story short y'all um i remember getting into the car it was me my mom and my brother I think my mom or my grandmother had told me to ask him or I think I just asked him and I just looked at him and I said I need some money like I have to pay my tuition so I can go back to school because if I don't pay it today then that's just over with and it was like I didn't want to go to another school like no Clark Atlanta was my dream school like this is where I wanted to be I didn't have the funds though and literally he asked nothing after that he took me to the ATM and withdraw um almost a thousand dollars and pay my tuition so i was able to enroll um as a sophomore of fall 2019 so shout out to my brother Jalen. i love you i thank you i actually not too long ago um probably like last week texted him because it was just th that like really touched me um that was just it, you know, it was his moment, but for him to even just look at me and say, hey, I know what you're going through, sis. I'm going to, you know, pay this so you can get through. And that, that was just, that's something that just doesn't go unnoticed at all. And I told him, um, thank you repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. I was just doing YouTube. I didn't have a job. Um, I wasn't focused on school or whatever. So I was just going hard on what I wanted to do. Um, I had dealt, dealt with a lot um, during the summer. Um, one of the biggest things I dealt with during the summer is the money that I had saved up, I had bought a cash car. Um, long story short, I'm not going to get too in detail uh, within this story because I'll probably talk about this on down the line in a whole different video. But long story short, um, a, a guy sold me a lemon. Um, yes, so the money that I had 
I literally gave him all of it because I'm like, I need a car. So come to find out that the guy who sold me the car, he sold me the limit, gave him the money, cash now. Um, biggest mistake without having the title. That's what, that was a big mistake. Like if they don't have the title, like right then, then there to give you, do not get them any money. Do not take that car. I bought the car without the title. He told me the title was gonna come. Um, I started driving around for like a week or whatever, and it just was messing up. And he said, and I took it back to him, and he was like, okay, I'm gonna get it fixed. I'm gonna get some parts. We're gonna fix it. I'm gonna fix it. Y'all, this man gave me to run around for about seven or eight months, and did not fix the car i bought this car like in july june or july of that summer of summer 2020 all the way to like january february 2021 i said you know what if this i'm tired of waiting around like i need to know what's going on you got my money and you got the car mind you i didn't see the car i gave it back to him i bought it in like i think like the end of july or something i gave it back to him like the middle of like august or something i probably only had it for like a week or two and he took it back, he said it was gonna fix it. From August to February, he gave me the fucking run around, never fixed the fucking car. Like, I said, you know what, something ain't, some ain't right, something ain't right. And excuse my language, I'm really trying not to cuss, I'm trying to keep it cute and classy for this video. But what I did was, I went to Better Business Bureau, um, called them, and literally, I didn't even have to say the full name of the company. They had already knew who he was. They said that basically, he had been scamming people for their money and giving them faulty cars for 20, I think, I think this happened for like um, 25 plus years. He's been doing that. That was gone. Like he took the money, he took the car. And um, I remember seeing the car, um, all of my stuff that I bought, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. So I remember that decorate my car with me video. I'll insert this here and also up here if y'all wanna watch it and in the description box below. Decorate my car with me video. When I was, you know, saying how I was so blessed to have bought that car, you know, I paid for it in cash. Child, that was a whole women, like, I was so depressed, y'all. Like, um, I got, I go more in depth into, into that into a whole different video. But yeah, um, that video, you know, I was so happy. I was like, oh, I bought my car, with my car the whole time. It wasn't a good car. Um, I had been gave it away to him for him to fix. Never got the money back. Long story short, took him to court. I had to go back down there, took, take him to court. And it was small claims court. So I was awarded the money. They couldn't technically make him pay. So I was awarded the money, but. I ain't getting that money back. So that's money that I'm probably never gonna see back. And that was all cash. Blue face, blue face is gone. Like, I'm never getting that back. <laughs> like, I ain't gonna lie. That was money that, you know, I worked hard for. Like I said, I was taking Ubers and Lyfts back and forth to work hard for that money to buy a car. And to have somebody take that from me. He a grown man taking from a little girl. Like, cause at the time I was 20, I wasn't a little girl. But you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little girl to him. And that was like my first time, you know, purchasing. That was my first big girl purchase. And that was that moment was taken away from me. And um, I did shut down. I got depressed. But I was like, okay, it's, it's hustle mode. You got to get back into it. So um, I ended up getting me a job at the sports bar, which was when I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings. And then I started working at the club, um, working six days a week. I'm like, at work, at work, sleep, work, sleep, work. I'm like trying to run it up because I'm like, I'm trying to run though, cause I'm like, by the time I move back to Atlanta, I want a car, and I have to have an apartment and somewhere to stay, and you know, so I can pay rent because I can't stay on campus anymore, and I didn't want to stay on campus anymore, obviously. But I had to run it up. So six days a week, I was working. I was working at the club. I was working at the um, um, sports bar. Two jobs, working the whole summer. Like, what was playtime? No. I was grind time, like really, really grinding. I ended up saving up a lot of money. Uh, yeah, I know how I was when I started. <laughs> when I started working, um, when I, especially at the club, yeah, I know I was just making money. I was making bank. So, um, bought me my car, my two, my 2019 Kia, and um, got me an apartment. Went back out here three months later. Um, who? This is summer 2021. I bought the car at the end of June, moved back out here the day before 4th of July 2021. Three months later, September 16, 2021, somebody hits the back of my new car, my new Kia. <sighs> Can I tell you freaking heartbroken again? It's just crazy to me. It's just crazy how you could work so hard for something and then just boom it's taken away from you at like such a 
at a given moment where it's like, damn, like, what do I do now? Mind you, when I bought that first car and then, you know, he, um, you know, I got scammed for that first car, it was on me to get myself another one. I had to get my ass up and I had to go hustle, go work for that shit, like, to get me a new car. Like, that's what I had to do. And so when I did do that and, you know, this, mind you, the Kia I have is, it's in my name, like, no co-signer. Like, I put that down, put that money down cash by myself. I was re-ended. So when I got re-ended, my whole world broke. I'm going to insert a clip of me driving home from that night. Um, cause I was coming from work, so I'm going to insert a clip of me driving home. I was involved in an accident. <laughs> and I'm just so upset. <laughs> insert clips and videos of that as well um and that was that like um i just can say like so i basically been driving my kia the car that i you know just bought um been driving around rick for the past since september so september october november december january february march april so for the past eight months i have been driving around in my rick car and um i'm saying all this to say no matter what you go through in life keep going keep keep pressing through like one thing about it god got something bigger for me god is gonna bless me why because i always kept going even though i did i haven't i haven't been the most consistent with my youtube and the most consistent with my um brand in general because you know of my current situation i let my current situation and my current circumstances get the best of me do not do that you guys i'm i'm telling i went through this so you don't have to like i'm telling you this from a place of love like whatever you're going through whatever your situation is like keep doing it because i had to go through a lot throughout these last four years really throughout the last two i went through a lot but here it is next month i'm about to graduate college and that was a lot having to go to work provide for myself losing money taking ills dealing with you know trying to heal from traumatic situations you know dealing with um having problems in you know relationships that i have with people like i literally had to do that alone and i'm so glad that god put me through that because now look look at me a strong woman y'all like i'm a woman now i'm about to graduate college so i'm just saying all this to say do not give up don't give up for anything whatever you want go do it this was not easy and mind you you're gonna go through things in life you're you're gonna have those moments where you're down you're gonna have those moments where you feel alone and trust me i done been through that i done been depressed um nobody talks about everybody always posts their wins and their successes like i could have just came out on social media and just said oh look at me i graduate college but now i'm sitting here before you right now and i'm telling you what i really had to go through to get to this point and this is such a big accomplishment for me because i could have gave up i could have gave up when i had to go back home because mind you i didn't have the funds to even go to college anyway or to go to this specific college i could have gave up when I got scammed from that first car, I could have gave up. I could have said, fuck this shit. Mind you, this is during a pandemic. But guess what? I kept going. So what I need you guys to do is to keep going. Whatever it is that you have in mind, whether it's going to school, starting that business, traveling, do it. Make sure you have people around you who understand you. Make sure you have people around you who keep you grounded. Make sure you have people around you who push you to do better make sure you have people around you who really want to see you win because i didn't have that like i didn't have really nobody but my mom and my grandmother that's all i had for real um i remember my dad told me that it was a stupid decision to go um to clark or whatever mind you he's the person who brought me to the school but because of the amount of money it didn't fit his vision guess what i still did it i still did it and i'm just telling you guys make sure you have the people around you who really want to see you win because the 
one bad apple will really spoil the whole tree. Having negative people that drain you and who don't see your vision, cut them off. I don't care who it is, whether it's a family member, a friend, your mom, your dad. Because it's not going to always be easy. It's not going to be easy to let go of the ones who you thought was going to be in your life forever. You looking at them like, dang, like, you supposed to be supporting me. You my parent. You my best friend. Baby, these people do not care about you. Because at the end of the day, this is your life. You have to get up and do this for you. You're not doing this for anybody else. You're doing this for you. And that's what I have to tell myself. I have to pray to God and ask for faith and ask for strength and guidance of my purpose in life. And this is my purpose. I went through all of that so I could sit right here to tell you. And right now the devil is working because mind you, I'm recording on my Snapchat camera right now because my phone so-called don't have any storage and I just paid for it um to get more storage and now it's still not working baby the devil will work but i work and my god works even harder let's just be clear keep going and this is and this is and, and this is this is why i go through the things i have to go through because i have to understand that you won't you won't go you won't hit a couple bumps in the road and i hit a couple bumps in the road literally but well just everything that i've been through in life and throughout my college years um this experience has been one for the books but now it is over it is over it is over i am now about to walk that stage i am entering adult world now and i'm ready um i'm ready for what life has for me i'm ready to give it my all when it comes to um you know youtube you guys will see me way more on here now because now i'll have the time because like i said especially um you know when i had that car accident you know i had to work and i was working doing slow season and you know one thing about me my pockets ain't right child i ain't trying to fake no lifestyle on me on social media that's not me i'm real i'm real and authentic that's one thing y'all gonna learn about me i come on here and just be me i don't fake nothing i don't force nothing what you get is what you see and that's period that's why I'm like i had some of the best times there met some of the best people and made great connections lifelong people and um just lifelong lessons one thing clark has taught me was to find a way to make one and not even just don't even just apply that in school but you apply that in real life you gotta find a way to make one for real and that's what i had to do who wants to go to clark and you have any questions don't, don't be afraid to leave comments down below or dm me or whatever the case is if you go to school like you know after covid live it up because i wish i did i wish i didn't lose um a year and a half but i had to i had to go ahead and get through i haven't been posting for the last two years on instagram like i just been just trying to deal with life in general and just get through things and i felt like i had to go through them things by myself i had to pray i had to look to god keep god first because whatever you want to do you can do it make sure god is in the midst of whatever you're doing i thank you guys i thank you so much for the support this is cheers to a new beginning um i'm graduating college um i'm going to insert a couple of videos at the end so you guys can get a recap of my college life. And I thank you guys so much if you have been supporting me. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know this was a video basically me telling my story but I, I really do want to let you guys know that Clark was fun I had to call this school my alma mater um uh, I'm so ready for homecoming this year it's my first homecoming as no long so now I will actually have that weight lifted off my shoulders I can finally just 
breathe and put my all into my youtube my brand and just everything and you guys i'm so excited i hope you guys continue to watch me i hope you guys continue to support me because i love you guys i love you guys so so much you guys y'all y'all support does not go unnoticed and i promise i promise i promise this will be the last break i will not take any more breaks you know it was hard for me to you know um get through just because i was doing everything on my own you know i didn't come from a uh, wealth i didn't come from having money given to me i was not silver um i was not fed with a silver spoon like i had to get out here and i had to grind and hustle but i made it and i beat the odds and i thank you thank you guys so much and if i could do it trust me if i could do it you could do it too so yes i will see y'all in the next one for this time <laughs>